Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. It's your boy Cargo Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. Now, last episode was very long. I apologize for that, but we had a lot of story missions that we had to get to, and we did just that. I don't have anything to sell here. Awesome. Uh, Colonel Garrett, job in progress. What? Nanny? What? What job do I have with you? Oh, it's. I just gotta listen. Fuck you and your job. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? I would like y'all to repair my bike. Fill her up real nice. Hey, Deke. Hey, man. I saw you ride Everything. out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? It went you well. Mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant. Okay, hey, no, I, I didn't mean nothing. See you, Corporal St. John. Yeah. Check yourself Corporal before you wreck yourself. Saint John. Now, Sergeant, how's it going? I am so happy because we reached level 2 and I can finally buy the weapon that I've had my eyes on. We're going to buy the Chicago Chopper, baby. And you know what the thing about this is? I'm going to name this name this gun after my favorite MC from Chicago. Oh yeah, damn right you guessed it. Damn right you guessed it. Damn right it's Lupe Fiasco. Just exercising your second amendment rights, am I right? You're right. You're wrong! I gotta get to level three. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. I want that. I want that. I need that. Huh? I don't know if okay. I'm gonna be able to get to it, but... This weapon right here? Corpus it's crazy. I'll see you around, yeah? Alright, so next up, we wanna go ahead and listen to Homeboy. Yes. Let's go. It really feels like we're blazing through these missions. It really feels like we're getting to the end of the game. And uh, we're not going to stop. We're going in, baby. We're going in. Oh, my God. We got to listen to him talk. My brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in celebration. You're lucky I need trust level three. Is nigh. Captain Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war. As we take the fight to the freaks. As we work to retake our world. I can sleep for a day. And behold. Me too. He said. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are angels. And they will gather out of his kingdom all evil. And throw them into the yeah, furnace of fire. In that place, there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels. And we are coming. Company dismissed. Did you perform in Broadway, fam? Like, what the fuck were those theatrics? Alright. I have three skill points I need to allocate, but we're gonna do so in due time here. Uh Jimenez! Oh Jimenez! Talk to me, man. Alright, you know what? Let's let's fucking do it now. Let's do it now. I know some of y'all getting antsy out there. Like how are you gonna have um takedown by twenty five percent? The chance of a critical hit or a takedown. Does that is that gonna make me... I don't fucking know, dog. Listen, we might want this. Because I hate being knocked down. Yeah. <laughs> I still believe... I can't believe I haven't gotten that yet. Whatever, though. What do we have here? No. Uh, initial recovery... Maybe? What do we have here? Sure. I mean, usually we're never gonna need this because we always... 
We always um, repair our bikes. Stamina rejuvenation. Oof. Shape up, baby. But I want this shape up. Alright, there's no stopping me. I mean. Alright, next. Jimenez. Talk to me. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and no, go No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't entiendo. what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's Dismissed, Corporal. <coughs> Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. That's an easy thousand thrust. I don't know why you're giving it to me, but what kept me going? Damn, we are blazing through these main quests. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? For fuck's sake, Colonel? man. Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. Oh, that lets me know that like she is expendable. You are hella expendable, lass. What is that all about, anyway? What? 
All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. This is not the army. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road Shit. captain and president and it's your nose. badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems. Friend or foe? What are you doing out here? Hey, shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? Um, sorry, Is your name Jim? It was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, man. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? You back did. Then? Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh... Too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to... I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel.
You need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. All right, that was it. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Yeah, it? yeah, it's right up here. You should know this better than me. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, alright, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. How do you still remember that? Wait, what? It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped up smartphone app. We have been out here for over 800 days though. You have been here after everything went to shit? What? Oh my god. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. Can we close that gate? <gasps> See? Come on. We need to close that gate. Maybe that's just paranoid me talking, but yo, close that gate. Oh. <laughs> okay, Alfred Hitchcock had a part in this. What? Killer fucking cross. So does that mean the food is infected as well?
Did you get... They're infected. It's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Something happened to your arm? Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. Does that I work? I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Ari? Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? <laughs> God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! I don't think you want to do that. Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. If only we had a ladder. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You Thank done you. that before? Yeah, Why? once or twice. You want me to take point? Yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot. But I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dean, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Pay attention to everything, please. Get down. Mother you were saying Marauders? Trust no one. 
expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Hmm. Stay up here, give me cover right here. Do whatever you can to destroy it. I'll signal you when it's clear. Security personnel to the main building. Like that? Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> with you there. Deadly force is authorized for use against Where's the other? Hazards. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. It's not that clear. Just so you know. Come on. Had it covered, bro. What happened to that? What's the move? the fucking thing it's locked hold on sarah irene whitaker id 2007659 sarah irene whitaker security has been breached the cloverdale facility is in lockdown repeat override id 2007659 override security protocol alpha 761 has been overridden has been called shut the police are on their way they must not have locked out inner security you ready yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Alert. <laughs> Alert. This is a... Multiple shots being fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Shit. Sniper's on the roof. I see him. Got him. Bandage. Well done. Two zero zero seven six five nine security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. What? <laughs> Ready? Level four alarm. Yeah. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel. To the Jim, wait. Jim. Son of a bitch. Well, like you said, a lot's changed. I got him though. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah. I'll show you deadly force. Nothing here. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. It's clear. Same here. All right, do your thing. It's clear, but there are goodies here. Never know when those are gonna come in handy. Get me some Molotovs up in here. Hmm. Okay, it's clear. Let's go. What's that? Give me that rag. Yay. 
Come on, let's try the door. Must have moved. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Well, this is not a better plan. <laughs> well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Get to the atrium. What? You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Huh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Tell me more about your plan. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? No. Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? No. Uh, five, five four, four two, two nine zero zero nine. Uh, oh, I got it. I got right? it. Yeah, let's go. I got it. Um. Alert! Alert! Nine one one. Here. Been Police are on I got you. I forgot the code though. Five four two nine oh oh nine. You got it. All right. Yeah. Hey, don't take any chances. Is this where I gotta go? Or no? Okay. Go. No. Uh Jim Moore! I know you're in there! Answer me, god damn it! It's Sarah Whitaker! I worked here, remember? Now you wanna fucking do it. What the hell are you doing? ID five four two nine zero zero nine. Good up there! Deacon St. John. Yes, come on! Yes. This is your first target. Please say voice response. Oh my god, that better not pop up on my recording. I sure as shit did. Sup, bitch? Fucking getting scar faced up in this bitch. Do you? Looting! So lucky you had to reload. My love for goodies almost cost me my life. Don't shoot him! 
We need him alive. Now fuck it, that. I said hands. All right. All right, just just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> we just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. Let's be mature about this. Rational. What's behind that door? I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. Like you let them go? I'm sorry. That's fucking gangster. That's gangster as hell. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. What the hell happened to wifey, man? She's cutthroat. Holy shit. about God, this is my fault we created the virus or you did I, I don't understand you should fault. have seen it when it first went in I mean we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here and then all of this changed they sealed everything off they took away my clearance God, David kept telling me, he kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay, who's, who's David? So David Gorman, he was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something i Classified don't know Classified project just he slow wanted, down and he wanted to be the next edward snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing david gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and i didn't listen to him deacon i told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. Mm -hmm. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> I don't understand like what was the big idea why would they want to do that and do we have any form of antidotes like what I don't understand 
Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Are we though? Are there gonna be any nasty surprises in there? I'm never giving up, huh? All those fucking disgusting ass crows, dog. Power building, yeah, that's uh, it's gotta be it. Crows. They have a nest. I can't shoot them off. I'm not that good with the fucking guns. Stop, 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 stop. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Did I miss it? I did. Oh, fuck me. Does it burn, you little bastards? Get the fucking carrier. Here you go. All right, so. All right, and then where's the next one? Where's the next shit? I I'm I'm a I'm happy with you. Honestly. Stop. How many more? I can't see. Uh alright. I think that was it. No, I just gotta jimmy that door. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's not how you jimmy open, it! Open, open. That did it. Wait. Uh, go with this. I haven't used my... Y'all heard that? Oh, fuck me. I'm in danger. I am definitely in danger. Right now. Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Oh, thank God. Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you too. Listen, I don't I got a lot of time. Uh the the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper. You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Come on, man, we're wasting. Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dick? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky. I'm glad, Dave. Yeah, you sound like All it. Right, we made it. I'm glad she did too. Uh, yeah. Okay. Listen, there's this farm. Okay. Uh, there's a uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences. 
this guy? And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <sighs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Boozer? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I got to go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. Deacon over. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. That is yeah, correct. Captain, uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where, and this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Is she going to die? Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? What's the story between yeah. you? Is he blaming? Yeah. yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. I'm guessing he's blaming Sarah for the loss of think? his old lady. I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> My gun face through your face. I'm sorry. You don't expect me to. Come on. Give me back to camp. Ah, oh, now that's gonna be cozy. It's clear. That's not my gun. Are hey, you gonna come out and eat something? You're not acting like she's your wife. You know that, right? Want to skip to something else? God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, never mind. You call me here. Smooth.
<laughs> if the game had ended right here, I wouldn't even be mad. up everybody y'all good listen man we're gonna call it an episode right here next episode what are we doing st john come in this is corporal st john uh what's up captain i need you to head back to command stat meet me at the infirmary the infirmary what's wrong there's been an incident i'm on my way excuse me okay what the hell uh lieutenant whitaker uh, are you there sarah Come in, Sarah. Oh, God damn it. What the fuck? What the hell was that? All right, so this one's on me. What's what, what is what is what is this? What is this? Just checking in. I might have to do that. I just might have to do that. Alright, so next episode we're going to start with doing this side story. And then, uh, taking care of this. Until then, this has been your boy Kyle Gaming. I'm out of here. Love y'all and do sis.